So I noticed recently going on Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff that whenever something big happens in the world or just any sort of announcement or big news, there's always a response to it on the internet, whether it be status updates or whatever. And then shortly after, there is a response to the response. And many times there's a response to the response to the response and it keeps going and it turns into this internet war or something. If you don't know what I'm trying to say, I will now give you a real life human example of these interactions for you in a skit formation. Here we go. Guys, everyone, shh, I have kind of an announcement to make. Um, as many of you know, a couple months ago, my dog Benny was diagnosed with cancer, and I am very happy to announce that at about 8.30 p.m. last night, they were able to remove the tumor in his left thigh, and he's going to be just fine. Oh, my God, Kelly, that is so great. That's amazing. Wowie, you know, that is so exciting. Benny has got to be one of the best dogs in the whole world. Congratulations, Kelly. I think it's cool and stuff that your dog's like not gonna die or whatever, but it's like everyone can stop talking about it now. It's like we get it. I just brought it up. Oh wow, cool. I find it kind of weird that everyone's like freaking out now that Kelly's dog is gonna live when Matt and I have known since like last night, like bandwagon much. You know, I'm not going to name any names, but to all the people in this room that are complaining about us congratulating Kelly on her dog's life, please go ahead and shut your goddamn piece of shit chubby little mouths. I know it's, like, not the popular opinion, but, like, in my opinion, I don't think Kelly's dog should live. Like, I think he should be, like, put down with, like, a needle or something, because I don't think, like, he's a dog that should be alive. Just my two cents don't get all butthurt. Excuse me? You know, at first I was really excited and on board about this whole Kelly's dog's gonna live thing. But the more and more I learn about it, the more and more I'm convinced the other way that maybe it is time for Benny to go. Also, he did fuck my leg once, and I did not like that one bit. I liked it a little bit. Grandpa! Hi. Kelly, it's your middle-aged mother, Shirley. I was in the kitchen making food when I overheard your conversation about Benny getting to live. I think that's totally awesome, and congratulations. Cool. Oh, uh, wow, hella old news. <laughs> you know, that's actually a really good point. By the way, I'm loving this whole titty dress thing you got going on there. That's a lot of fun for me. I'm really digging that. You got to keep that up. Just the two nipples kind of peeking out there for me to see. Kind of spy on them. Peek around the corner. Just take a look at those two little titties. Really liking that. Thanks. 